This tutorial shows how to use the Orchestrator Studio to create a rule. A rule contains conditions that an orchestration uses to determine the next action to perform. To demonstrate, this tutorial shows an example of creating a rule that contains a condition for determining if a customer is over their credit limit. Let's get started. From the Orchestrator Studio homepage, we can access the Rule Design page. Next, let's select the button to create a new rule. First, we need to name the rule, select a product code to associate with it, and give it a short description. Next, we will add a condition to evaluate if a customer's open order amounts exceed their credit limit. For the condition, we'll select numeric because this condition evaluates numerical data. Next, we'll use variables for the condition to evaluate if a customer's open order amount is greater than the customer's credit limit. When included in an orchestration, this rule would receive the open order amount and credit limit from the data request configured to retrieve these data values from Enterprise One. This is the only condition needed for this rule, so now we can save it. To see this rule in the context of an orchestration, let's access the orchestrations page and open the customer credit check orchestration. When you select the rule step in this orchestration, notice the open order amount and credit limit inputs. These inputs come from the variables defined in the rule, and they are mapped to receive these values from the preceding data requests. In this tutorial, we've created a rule that when added to an orchestration, such as this credit limit check orchestration, evaluates data to determine the next action an orchestration performs. To learn more about the features shown here and other rule features, such as creating a custom rule with Java or Groovy scripting, see the orchestrator guide and visit us online at learnjde.com.